What are anti-lock braking systems? Commonly known as ABS are sometimes anti-skid braking systems. Anti-lock braking systems help prevent car and motorcycle wheels locking up and improve steering control while braking. The first primitive form of ABS was developed in the 1920s by French pioneer Gabriel Poisson initially to add braking on aircraft, although it was not until the 1970s that ABS was adapted and introduced to the commercial vehicle markets on a large scale. Today, anti-lock braking is now standard on virtually all new cars and, mo and motorcycles and is used not only to add steering whilst braking but also to help with traction control. The four major components of our typical anti-lock braking systems are speed sensors. These sensors mon monitor how fast the vehicle wheels are rotating. Walls. Walls in the brake line allow block and release pressure on the brakes by assuming three different positions. Pump. These pumps are filled with hydraulic fluid and apply pressure to the brake drums or calipers on demand. Controller. The electronic control unit ECU is the brain of the ABS and uses data from the sensors to determine whether or not to pump the brakes. How does the anti-lock braking system work? ABS works by releasing and then reapplying or pumping the brakes to the motorcycle wheels or car wheels in heavy braking situations. Sensors on each wheel are used to detect locking or when a wheel stops moving and starts to skid. Although not all ABS systems are the same with some only preventing wheels on the rear axle from locking up. When a lockup is detected, ABS pumps the brakes hundreds of times a second. This stops the wheel or wheels from skidding and helps keeping the driver in control of the vehicle. So essentially, ABS works in three stages. First, brake pedal is pushed. Second, wheel sensors detect skidding or locking. Third, ABS pumps the brakes. How effective is ABS? Drivers are benefiting from the effectiveness of ABS according to an 11-year study in the US conducted by National Highway Traffic Safety Administration AHTSA non-fatal crashes have reduced by 6% in car and by 8% in LVTs motorcycles equipped with ABS are also at 7% less likely to be involved in fatal crash according to the study by the insurance institute of highway safety iihs does abs help me stop faster the primary purpose of abs is not actually to help car stop stop faster but to help drivers maintain control of their vehicle in heavy braking situations in ideal conditions vehicles equipped with ABS generally experience shorter stoppage distances than those without. Decreasing stopping distance is not guaranteed by ABS and is a secondary effect. How does ABS benefits racing drivers? In the racing world, drivers' aids such as ABS and traction control system TCS take on different roles. ABS can be used to change when a driver commit to braking before a corner and can also help pr protect tires from excessive wear. ABS in adverse weather conditions. ABS has been proven to reduce the risk of crashing when being used on typical road surfaces like bitumen and concrete. But the results are quite different on surfaces like snow, ice and gravel where braking distances are actually increased. On snow, a wheel that skid or lock will build up a wedge of snow helps vehicles stop. Whereas ABS would detect the locking of the wheel and attempt to stop any skidding or locking from occurring. Similarly, on the ice, ABS can be more of a hindrance than a benefit because of system limitations. ABS works by detecting and locking on individual wheels, meaning a car or motorcycle that experiences locking on all wheels simultaneously would not trigger ABS. In the event of ABS fails, driver should pump the brakes manually. ABS as traction control. ABS is also used as a form of traction control in a range of modern cars. ABS is used to help Help restore grip to wheels that slip by slightly applying the brake. Although this should not be confused with actual tracking control system TCS that are used to prevent wheel spins during acceleration. TCS works by shifting torque through differentials to wheels that the ECU deems to have better traction in comparison with a wheel that are slipping. ABS in strong winds. Most modern cars are now built to be able to deal with strong crosswinds. Although motorcycles 
motorcycles and high sighted vehicles such as heavy goods vehicles are still vulnerable. Newer HGVs are combating strong winds on the motorways by using ABS to apply the brakes to wheels and stop keeping lorries on the straight and narrow. My ABS light is on what do i do if you see if the abs light appear on your dashboard then there is likely a problem that needs fixing although an illuminating abs light doesn't mean that your car has no brakes but be aware that you will no longer have the assistance of abs when braking hard your first port of call should be to check your brake fluid levels making sure that the reservoir is filled to the level if you are not comfortable with doing that, head to your local garage and a professional will get your ABS back up and running. What if my car doesn't have ABS? Anti-lock brakes require you to press down hard when you are braking to avoid an obstacle. But if you don't have an ABS equipped car or motorcycle, what you need to do is slightly different. Number first, slow down as much as possible. You will need to slow your vehicle down as much as possible before turning the steering wheel. Number second, foot off the accelerator. Take your foot off of the accelerator pedal and if you are manual geared car push the clutch down number third hit the brakes push the brakes with as much as pressure as you can until you can feel your wheels lock then release the brakes number fourth pump your brakes take your foot off of the brakes when applying the brakes then applying the brakes this replicates the abs braking method uh, friends hope you people learned something from this video if you learned something from this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications for future uploads thank you for watching